That's me. Welcome back, family. You know who I am. I'm the Soil King. I always bring you good products. I got another one for you right now. Got a good friend of mine. He's standing on an apple box, I think. Either that or I'm standing in a hole. I don't know, one or the other. What's your name? Tell us a little bit about your company and you know what you're bringing and maybe a little bit about our relationship. Well, appreciate us being here, the home of the Soil King and the uh, home of Big Roots. And my name is Chris, I'm with DripWorks, and DripWorks is an irrigation company located in Willits. We've been in business this year, celebrating our 25th year, and um, we ship all over the United States, Canada, and Mexico. We also support our small businesses, such as yourself, and um, we're proud to have Patrick and the Soil King on as one of our resellers of our product. Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm Thank happy to be here too. This is awesome. You know, I, DripWorks has all kinds of different parts, different components. You know, I love, I support them here at Soil King. They. Uh, they got some great water systems, irrigation supply systems. We got a couple on display right here, right now. Chris, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on today? What are we going to do to show right. our people? All right, man, what we got going on here, Patrick, is this is a mixed ride fertilizer injector. It's actually a company, uh, DEMA. So this is an adjustable unit. This is a 2% unit here, and you can adjust it from 0.2% to 2%. We have this is good for your synthetics, and you can run these in, um, in line together. We also have the units. The 10% units that we've got, um, got right here, they can go um, up to 10%, and that's great for your organics and people that want to keep it organic and then get all the good stuff into your into your um, big root soil. Get that big roots. You know, I like the organics, right? I'm not that big on the synthetic guy, but just to throw a couple things out here that's awesome. This is how easy these things are to adjust. So you got your measurements right here, and you just set this, right, to whatever mix right, whatever mix it's gonna be. Put this in a bucket, drop that in a bucket, go ahead, you got a line coming in and a line going out. And as uh, as it pulls through one line, as it's pulling this way and, and pulling out that way, pushing this way and pulling out that way, it siphons it right up. I mean, this is awesome. So you can, this is a product where you can put, put to use, you know, hands down, walk away from it and let it do the work for you. Am I missing anything on that? Yes, a couple things. You got the on-off switch. Yep. So if you want to um, change your nutrients or add more nutrients, you use the on-off switch. So you got every unit's got a um, flow control arrow. So you have your water line coming in this way and your outlet going this way. And the nice thing about this unit is with all DripWorks products, you invest up front and you're going to save on the back end because this stuff is going to last you for years and to come. And then pulling it apart. And show us a little bit about that. I mean, this is this is another easy part of it too. Is changing out the gasket. And go ahead, show us a little. So the nice thing about this and other units are out there. It's got the bigger bowl, so it's going to allow more flow going through the unit. And the maintenance is is as simple as taking the engine assembly out. You got the piston rod. You got the engine assembly. You have three seals. And each unit, when you buy a new unit, comes with. I remember um, an ex extra kit. Yeah, you seal get kit. Extra seal kit. So you take the new ones, you soak them in water, you go to um, dripworks.com, you go to resources, and you can actually watch the videos on how to replace these. But it's simple, soaking new ones in water, taking these off, clean this unit up, put them back on, 15 minutes you're back to um, fertilizing. Nice and easy. Put it back together, and you're rocking the nutrients. What else we got to talk about? Some show our people some value right here. Let me pull this aside. So here, Patrick, one of the things that DripWorks is proud of being is trying to have as much product that's made in the United States. This is a chain tubing. It's a 50 mil, and it's made actually right here in California out of polyethylene product. So it's not a bunch of plastic bottles chewed up and made into tubing where it's only going to last you a couple of years. This stuff has got the longest warranty out on the market. If it's slightly buried, covered in mulch, you're going to get 10 to 15 years or longer out of it. It's a, um, this is a 0.700. The other tubing that's out there, like in a lot of your um, box stores, is a 620. So it's going to carry less water. It's not going to last as long. Or this tubing is going to carry more water and do the job for you from years to come. Chris, thanks a lot for showing us your uh, half inch main drip line. main line there, brother. I appreciate right. that. So I'm going to pull this one down. And uh, what else we got to show? The next product I want to talk about is a half inch emitter tubing. Again, this is made in 
California. Pepper. California's in the United States. Yeah, of course, you know that. So is the Soil King. So these are got, um, <laughs> humidors built into them. This comes in different spacing lengths, either 9, 12, 18, 24, 36. And um, it comes in a half gallon hour or one gallon hour emitter. So depending on how fast you want to get your water out, that would determine what emitter you want to use. So you just lay this out, you can do it in a row length, you can do it, you can take a smart pot and you can um, fill it up with the big roots and you can loop this around your pot, stake it down, hook your, uh, use an easy lock gear tech fittings, connect it up to your main line and turn the water on. You'd be going to town. Or run it down your rows if you have rows of vegetables or anything else. And if yep. you guys can see, we got the emitters. So the emitters are little drip, little drippers that are built into the half inch tubing right here. You can kind of see them right here where they puff out a little bit. So the nice thing about these also is the pressure comp seam. So if you're going to have a tree or you got anything on, on an embankment, so once it gets pressurized, you're going to the same amount of um, flow at the end of your run that you do at the beginning of your run. Chris, thanks for uh, coming in, sharing your knowledge, your brotherhood, your strength, all that good stuff. Thanks for, thanks for standing on the apple bucket and making a hole for me to stand in. <laughs> you know me. Soil King's out. See you next time. This is awesome. Am I missing anything on that? <laughs>